Crazy's here from Crazy Borgies. I hope you're all well and fine on this beautiful March day and welcome back to my channel. Today's video I have an unboxing, yes, and this has been sent to me by the lovely people at FG Normal, so a huge, huge thank you to them. I will list all of the products shown in today's video in the video description box down below, along with a link also to their store. Um, so you can hop on and have a little window shop. There's lots of special offers going on at the moment. So in several stores, so as well as FG Normal. So if you fancy some Easter shopping, then that's the place to go. If you haven't done so already, if I could ask you to please like, subscribe, share and hit the little notification bell, which will notify you of my future video uploads, okay? And also don't forget to follow me on Crazy Borgies Diamond Art on Instagram and TikTok. Okay, let's get started, shall we? So I hope you all had a beautiful weekend. I had a very busy one and I've had a very busy Monday. I have... Right, so we've got one, whoops, and we've got two canvases. So, let's move that to one side. Start off with this one, okay? It's a special shape and a partial, and it's a 30 by 30. And I saw it. And fell in love with it because I am partial to a partial as I say and I do love the paper quill effect it has interested me before actually of giving it a go but it looks quite fiddly and I'm not sure how I'd cope with that so standard kit your pink pen your green boat and your little bit of wax and that's all you need if you're getting started or just testing testing the waters with diamond painting okay here i think i need to turn my light on because hang on a second because whoa the weather's gone a bit funny here let's just say that so move you up slightly okay 30 by 30 and it's of a gorgeous bunch of flowers with a, a blue background you don't see many with um, blue backgrounds or different colored backgrounds usually it's either white or black so i saw this and saw it was a bit different and thought yeah i like that this morning I went off to Tesco's and bought a lot of different Easter eggs, yes, for my kiddies. So that was fun. Very expensive fun, obviously. <laughs> now they need to be sent away for the Easter bunny. Okay, so. Yeah, it is sticky just where it needs to be. Uh there. I think they have several different variations of this as well. Very nice clear drill area. Lovely. And we have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 different symbols. And they are numerical and alphabetical, yes. I just really like this image. It's giving me um, like Asian art vibes as well. Yeah, I really do like this. As I said, paper quill does interest me, but it just looks bit too fiddly what with having to cut all the papers and put them in the right order and it, it just looks a bit fiddly for me that's the thumbnail guys i hope you can see it 
lovely beautiful I think it's going to look really nice once we get all those special shapes on because I can see we've got a few floating around so let's have a look as usual I'll let you know the prices at the end of the video okay Okay, so 12 colours. Let's have a look here. See what we've got. Okay. We have a blue marquee. Let's just turn that over. A blue marquee in a large size. We've got a red, red A, ugh, can't talk this morning, red AB coated marquee in the large size. Very good. And then we've got a clear AB coated marquee in the large size as well. And then we've got a yellow in the large. And then we've got some red domes. Lovely. We've got some dark blue large rhinestones and then we've got some orange aqua blue rhinestones a red rhinestone a clear rhinestone there a pink and then a dark blue lovely going to look really gorgeous that is okay let me just pause you and I will put this away and get the next one out right now this one is a repeat order of an item I have already from a different store and you'll see it you'll recognize it when I get it out in a second Oh, it's the swan, guys. It's the swan. But I think it's a different variation. Let me have a look. If it is, I'm happy because then I haven't got the same one twice. It is. It is a different variation of the swan. So the other one had the little crown on. I remember that because she was a queen, wasn't she? I was calling her the queen swan. And standard kit once again. And there we go. So the other one had the crown on. This one doesn't. But it has the same sort of colourful feathers in the background. And it's just as beautiful as well. So I will be doing this one and the other one. Because I love swans. I think they're just such elegant animals, aren't they? Are they animals or classed as birds? Birds with class them as. But yeah, I know they can be a bit aggressive though. But yes, I think they're stunning. We we go and see swans quite regularly down at um, a little place called uh, the Aquadrome near where we live. And it is, oh, it's gorgeous down there. And you've got all the ducks and all the swans. Yeah very nice very nice let's just have a check on the adhesive yeah very good let me just give it a bit of a a smell test oh it's a little bit of an odor but not much to be honest with you not much so yes I'm just going to see if I have the size on here. No, I don't. I don't have the size. That's fine. Okay, let's have a look here. So, this one is coming in at about... 18 and a half I'd say by a 
by 20 just over 20 yes so a nice size for an ornament this has also the um, the dust backing on the back of the ornament so if you just peel it off after you finish diamond painting then you'll you'll have a better effect on the diamonds yes it will so there we go lovely she looks a bit a bit angry actually but swans do can, they they can have that sort of look about them can't they where they look a bit angry also this has the dust sheets on both sides as well so just take it off after you've finished and you'll have the clear base as well okay so let's have a look at the beautiful diamonds with this one i remember last one they had quite a lot of diamonds in didn't it yeah let's have a look okay wow yes this one does as well so we have four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 24 different diamonds and rhinestones, yes, yes, so there's quite a lot there, so we'll start off with some rhinestones, so we have dark blue, there we go, some gorgeous hot pink there some orange and some black that's another thing everything gets diamond painted apart from her eye okay but if you wanted to add the black eye in there then you could i suppose but yeah it's beautiful right and then we've got a purple dark purple green that's like a really light soft pink that's another pink another pink another pink another pink yes lots of pinks here a lilac an aqua blue there we have like oh i've never seen that color before like a really dark blue rhinestone there really dark and then we have like a champagne color there then our specials we have a red teardrop we have a small lilac marquee there we have the skinny shards i think they're called shards i'm not sure but i always call them a skinny um marquee with a b coating in a light blue there we have some skinny marquee hot pinks lovely we have some tiny purple marquees some tiny hot pinks some tiny light blues some tiny light pink and then even more teeny tiny are they marquees or are they teardrops marquees they are some teeny tiny light pink marquees there very tiny <laughs> okay right let me put this away and i'll get the next item out right last but not least i saw this and i had to grab it and they do lots of different variations of this one and this one is a special shape 30 by 30 was standard kit once again and this one is absolutely adorable 
and when I saw it I just had to grab it just bear with me while I'm rolling it to get it a little bit more flatter there we go there it's a puppy rotty puppy rottweiler yes absolutely gorgeous i had to get it in memory of my little my little doggy that died well she wasn't little she was huge actually my princess who i'm doing a custom of at the moment but i'm taking my time with her because it's quite emotional so it's only sticky where it needs to be quite a shiny canvas as well and nice clear drill area look at those eyes i mean how could you think they're evil i do think that dogs are just like people you know it's um depends on the owner doesn't it how the owner raises them i remember that tongue i remember it well and i always used to say she looked like she was smiling when she panted because their mouth just goes up at the side and she was so lovely she really was and that is a thumbnail and i think they do lots of different breeds um, obviously I went for this one they didn't have any mixed breeds it just tends to be like the pedigree bit breed so I think they had a a, a Westie there a Yorkshire Terrier maybe so they've got those types of dogs but when I saw this cute little Rotty in a jumper as well I thought yeah it's for me I would love to have another Rottweiler I really would but now with my heart diagnosis and everything it's just not yeah yeah it's just not not possible but you know i've got my photos and i've got my memories which is the main thing and we've still got her ashes as well in the house And I always say to my daughter, when I go, they're coming with me. <laughs> happy times, happy times, guys. <laughs> so nine different shapes and colours on this one. We have the crystal codes and the symbols are all alphabetical. OK, 30 by 30 is the overall size of the canvas. It's not the diamond painting area and it's a partial so we only diamond paint where we need to where we see the symbols and the adhesive okay and yeah i just i couldn't resist those eyes those eyes are just oh yeah it does remind me of my princess it does because we had her from about eight weeks old i i collected her and she was crazy and just like this dog every dog i have is crazy i don't know my dad says i do something to him maybe maybe i do <laughs> i'll spoil him that's the problem right so nine colors and specials so we have a clear rhinestone a light gray rhinestone a black a green a baby pink an orange like a really soft light blue yeah and then a red teardrop in a small size but it's got lots of facets as well actually has it got facets on some of them do some of them don't so it's a mix in there Hmm. okay and then we've got some small gold domes as well so that should look lovely just trying to see where the gold domes go 
in the roses yeah in the roses okay let me just get the prices for you i'll pop this away and then i'll be back in one second okay so i have the prices for you so for the gorgeous one ornament this one that has lots of different variations on the website this was eleven dollars thirty six cents eight pound ninety nine pence okay okay for the 30 by 30 blue quill effect flowers five dollars four cents three pound 99 pence okay and then for the gorgeous puppy rottweiler lots of variations of different breeds as well on the website six dollars thirty four pound 98 cents uh four pound 98 pence there we go yes so i hope you've enjoyed this little unboxing and thank you so much for joining me for today's video i am behind on my comments i will try to catch up with them at some point this week but life is pretty busy at the moment we had the birthday party on saturday so that was full-on manic mayhem yes it was at a trampoline park but they all had fun and plenty of sugar went around let me just put it that way so yes but you know i think they it was a successful party at the end of it anyway take care god bless and please don't forget to like and subscribe because that obviously helps my videos grow on the algorithm and the channel grow and um I'll speak to you all soon. Let me know in the comment section which one of these beautiful items you like the best. It's a hard choice. It really is. Okay. Take care. God bless. And I'll speak to you all soon. Bye for now, guys. Bye.